welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name's Kim. I normally have my partner with me, Mo, but he's actually a bit ill at the moment. I think he might have deli belly. We arrived yesterday, but yeah, fingers crossed I don't catch it. But basically we're here to deliver a new vlog for you guys. It's been a hot minute and we are in the beautiful place of Bali. And basically we're here to celebrate a huge milestone of mine. I have turned today 40 years old. Can you believe it? I still feel 26 at heart. I think they say you are as old as you feel. I definitely think that's very true. So basically the backstory to this is we've never been Bali before. It's my first time ever here, but during lockdown, I saw on social media, there was this beautiful place in the middle of Bali and it's called Eco Six. And basically there are six huts, all uniquely designed with their own little pools. And I just said to Mo, when I turn 40, I want to spend my 40th there and bless him. So fast forward, um, he has splurged out and basically spoiled me to this lovely trip to Bali. So bless him. Feeling very spoiled and very thankful. But yeah, we're here in Bali and we're here for a week. We've got four days at this lovely Eco Six place. I'll show you the heart, a little room tour in a minute. Um, but basically it is stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then we're off to Changu later on and staying two nights there. So a week here. And actually what's nice on the way back is because we're flying through Dubai. We've actually got friends there. So we're going to visit them uh, for a long weekend. So it's kind of two holidays rolled into one. We basically arrived yesterday. So that was the 11th of May. And literally door to door, it took 28 hours of hardcore traveling. It was really grueling, but we got there in the end. But yeah, we're basically going to spend the rest of today chilling at our resort. It is absolutely stunning and beautiful. So it's a very chilled day. I think Mo's got uh, a massage, a couple's massage booked for us. So there's people coming to us, which is lovely. Uh, and it's a Balinese massage, which I've never tried before. Uh, so I'm very excited, always excited to have massages. But yeah, we're really excited for this trip. There's gonna be amazing content. The weather here is, we're talking to the taxi driver, it was raining last night. It was actually thundering, I think it was. And what he was saying, normally by May, it's dry season. But for some reason, it's kind of long, the rain is longing itself out. A bit like in England, how spring is not springing. Um, so everything just seems a bit delayed. Um, so hopefully the sun's out now. So hopefully more of this for the rest of the week. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just chill and enjoy our resort and then we'll take you along with us. So quick outfit check of the day. So as we're staying at the villa, I've got my one piece swimsuit on and this one is from a small Portuguese family run business by a mother and daughter and I'll have it linked below and I've got my white list sarong on that I've had for the longest time ever I can't even remember where it was purchased and then I've got my TikTok headband on and the reason why it's on is because the humidity level is absolutely insane here so I've just bunged it on so that I can just push my hair back and out the way anyway as promised I thought I'll give you a quick room tour so as you come in we are here at the beautiful Beetle Villa and it's actually for up to four people. So as you come in, you have this amazing, absolutely amazing swimming pool and a beautiful view of the rainforest. And there we've just got our little floating basket brekkie there. And then we've got a room to the left and to the right, which is identical. So most just in there recovering and I'll just show you this one in the meantime. So as you come in, we've got this stunning bedroom and as you can see bamboo throughout we've got lots of light coming through here which I absolutely love and oh it's a bit steamy in here but we've got a view of the pool and over here we have a lovely little bathtub which we can use a bit later some bubbles and it's exactly the same on the other side which is quite nice and then you can see obviously the bed and lovely pendants hanging down, very tall ceilings, lots of storage space to left and right. And if I take you through here, we've got the lovely bathroom 
and as you can see again lovely little hole a little window for lots of light coming through we've got a round mirror and basin and behind the door here we've got a lovely rain shower and all the complimentaries are body wash shower and shampoo and then I'm going to take you upstairs so let me show you the hallway first of all so the hallway absolutely stunning again tall ceilings lovely pendants to match in with all the theme of the resort lovely bamboo staircase which I'll take you up again that's our view so we're going up the spiral staircase as we come up we're coming up to the open area rooftop how lovely is this so we've got a dining area here huge area just to chill up here it's really clever there's like a projector that comes down this morning we spent time on this netted area here just watching the sun rise over there but yeah look at this view this stunning view of the rainforest in the middle of Bali and this is what I wanted to wake up to. So that is it, that's the end of our lovely room tour. So we are back with Mr. Mo. How are you feeling? Oh, guys, literally, the past, like, I'm going to say two, three hours, maybe even four hours, like, as soon as I woke up, I just wasn't feeling right. I had a bit of a headache. And I just thought to myself, oh, yeah, let me try and sleep it off some more. I'll have a, uh, an ibuprofen and some water. And then I just started feeling real dizzy. And then, um, yeah, I kind of puked up about four or five times, which wasn't great. And I was sitting on the toilet a bit. And I'm not trying to say that I had deli belly or anything, but- it Sounds like it, doesn't it? It kind of sounds like it, but- We've only had literally one meal. Yeah, we've had so one meal. I don't know meal. if it could be that, but I'm not ill, so we ate the same thing. So maybe it, not so yeah, much. It could be plain food. It could be- it Could be the plain food, actually. I don't know. It could be me having the ibuprofen without eating anything first so it could be even one of those anywho you're back yeah <laughs> i'm back i'm resurrected live and, live resurrected and and, live and kicking yeah i can't wait to to start this vlog off for you guys it's just it's been unreal so far um yeah. we're, right, just have, we're just having breakfast brekkie yeah. um and it's our second round of brekkie basically we were too busy filming the breakfast on the floating basket and then when we looked at it, it had like insects. flies and insects and stuff. So we're like, no, I can't eat that. So we just called reception up to say, can we have it all replaced? Um, so they kindly replaced it, um, yeah. but we won't be doing that again. Mm. I feel a bit bad though, because obviously this is like an eco-friendly place. And I didn't want to waste the food, but at the same time, I'm just so hungry. Yeah, especially because you've got a dodgy belly, like yeah. the flies on the breakfast, I'm sure if you ate that, that's just not going to add. Yeah, it would have added to the, to the fire, wouldn't the it? Torture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, resurrected from the dead. So last night we got in after um, 28 hours of flying, as I said, um, and I tried to go to sleep at about 11. This guy fell asleep to about 11 to 5 straight. And I've never had this before where oh, I couldn't no. sleep. Like, I've not slept yet. I haven't slept for, it's been over 24 hours I've not slept. Babe, so literally. I'm going to get delusional later. You Delirious. sleep anywhere, everywhere, yeah, anyhow. I've never felt like with this. With all the noise in the world, you can normally sleep. The moment we're in the most quaint place, pitch black, rainfall, that is just yeah, so smooth. Yeah, the rain was soothing. falling, wasn't it? It was really nice. Yeah, it was beautiful. I just couldn't sleep though. I've um, never had this feeling of not being able to sleep. So the poor people that actually can't sleep day in, day out, I just feel so bad. But yeah, that was mm. horrific. Um, so later on, I might be flat out. You might be sitting on the floor somewhere. Um, I, think, I, I think, think I'm in London time still. So yeah, at so the moment, what time is it? 
So you have to bear in mind that we're like seven hours ahead of UK time. So I think it's 2 a.m. back home. So yeah. I should be feeling tired very soon. So. Yeah, but I think what the, the positives out of it is that in a couple hours we do have a little cheeky uh, massage. So I think you can snore, <laughs> snore, away. <laughs> snore your yeah. head off um, when that happens. But yeah, um, it's going to be good. We've got a lot of uh, content to take as well, so hope you guys are ready for that. And I already flew the drone out this Might morning. Might insert here or here. Yeah. You yeah. guys, or if you're not following us on the gram already, check us out. For sure. But anyway, we'll probably catch up with you guys Thank in the set. But we will leave you with this wicked view that we've got. Check this out. I'll go over here real quickly. Oh, Netflix there, YouTube. Got this netted sort of bed frame here, and then this looks outside to uh, to the world. So this is our view. Absolutely amazing. Well, we'll see you guys in a bit. Jeez! Quick, on off. I'm gonna have a massage now. There oh, there they are. Okay. Hello, hello, thank you. Oh, hello. Nice to see. Thank you. How are you? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank you. Where do you like massage? Is it here? getting changed at the moment for a birthday dinner but I'm gonna film a few reels and TikToks beforehand just behind the scenes 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 of putting on my shoes and then we're gonna shoot before the sun goes down I think we've got a good two hours to kill so we're gonna do that and maybe we'll post it here or here for you guys to see but yeah check us later right guys while she is doing TikToks and reels for weed catch up and talk about a big subject here. My hair flipping out. Look at this. I never ever <laughs> just leave my hair mash up like this. But since we're in Bali and since you know we're kind of carefree at the moment, literally I've just been waking up and having a shower and ruffling up my hair you're basically just carefree which is why my hair is like this it's not usually like this but yeah what do you think let us know in the comments we're gonna go up, head up upstairs and uh have some dins see you later oh how sweet is this no wonder they took so long this is beautiful that's gorgeous oh look at the flowers how lovely. Very fancy, hey? Here he is. Oh, it's so nice. Thank you so much. Doing, uh, so kind. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
good morning people it is the next day and it is currently 5 20 we're going to be picked up by our driver at 5 30 because we are going to put the lucky lucky waterfall i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not too sure but we wanted to basically beat the rush make sure that there's not loads of like people traffic we want to be the first people there so that we can get the snaps for insta get the reel in so we're going super early and we'll let you know how much it costs to get there apart from that we do have a little breakfast box that the hotel is providing us with so big shout out to the guys over at eco 6 for arranging that so what i was gonna say is we are going to probably be in quite a wet area so for now i think we're going to transition over to into the gopro and we are Heading literally down. trailing down to lecky lecky waterfall is about a good one hour five minutes drive from where we're staying but oh my this i'll show you what the path is like yeah if you're coming here make sure you're walking really slow I've never been to a waterfall before and this is just nuts, absolutely nuts. So if you ever get a chance to come here, just do it. It costs 50,000 IDR, which is the equivalent of like... Three pounds something. Yeah, so. So, and to see this... Amazing. It's a little hike down, which is like 700 meters, but yeah. it's quite an easy... As one piece of advice, wear the correct footwear for these hikes. right guys welcome back and we have actually come back to eco 6 from our visit over at leke leke waterfalls and we've actually moved into another room so we're going to show you what that looks like i'm going to spin this around and uh we'll get a bit of a point of view so from here we open the two double doors come down these two step two three steps we have a set of stairs up here that leads you to a little something special here's some towels just as a little uh, a little sneak preview of what could be up there so as we come in we do have these two glass double doors oh who's that looks like kim is here responding back to all her birthday messages from yesterday so we'll let her crack on with that but yeah we do have another double sized bed a little cozy little sofa here a little table here for dining if we have some indoor food if we yeah if we order some indo food not indoor food <laughs> <laughs> nice little lampshade up here big mahusive full length mirror there you go all of the uh, rooms have us uk and eu plugs and even asian plugs so you won't need to bring any uh, converters or extensions so that's super useful we've got that on both sides and if we move into this room but we have a bathtub a place here just to hang some clothes we come in through here we have a walk-in shower so yeah you can walk all the way through we come over here we do have the toilet also have a bidet to wash your stinky ass and that's about it really yeah it's really really nice um i think we're going to try and get used to this after being at the beetle villa so this is the hut villa so really really nice massive massive space it's coming up to about 10 10 30 
I think we're kind of peckish actually. We've done loads, it's been like so early as well. We've done loads so far. But I think we're kind of peckish, a bit thirsty as well. Yeah, I think she's gonna run the bubble bath. Um, and I'm just gonna settle in, I think we're gonna unpack. Yeah, once we've done that, we'll let you guys know what we get up to. So we'll see you in a bit. Right guys, we are, we're still at the villa and we spent a few hours smashing out some reels for Kim's account and um, I stuck a few stories up on my account. Just going through all the footage and everything is just absolutely crazy. It is stunning, honestly. Um, so looking back at it, yeah, it's just, it's just so beautiful. And it's gonna be one of those things, like we literally do this so that we can document our time when we're on holidays. Like we don't do it for like likes, views, comments, etc. We literally do this so that we can document where we've been and the experiences we've had. So just a food for thought kind of thing. Like when you're posting, man, just post it for you. Post things that will help you remember your memories. So yeah, yeah, managed to get out, what, three reels, get a bit of work done. And I think we're gonna chill for the rest of the afternoon and probably get some food and drink like what we normally do. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. So guys, I actually forgot to show you what was up them stairs. So we're gonna quickly do that now. And I'm just gonna flip this lens around so that you can see what I see. So you got these stairs here. That's actually where we stayed before. Check this out, guys. So don't watch these leaves right now. So for sure, we're gonna be using this pool a lot during our stay. Also, we ordered our first meal on Grab. Um, if you don't know what Grab is, but basically Grab is like their Uber Eats of Asia. <laughs> and I imagine there's gonna be a lot more, lot more orders. Some really, really nice food. We actually had like a chicken barbecue and rice and like a crispy fried chicken as, and rice as well with some vegetables. Definitely gonna order from uh, Grab again. See you in a bit. back guys we have left the villa for today but we are off to Krekia Ubud the excitement is pretty yeah, cool. boy. and we are being picked up by one of our drivers just at reception here at Eco 6 over here looks like our car's here it's nice <laughs> to see you. we will put the description in the box and just to let you know he is a great guy and very safe driver as well thank you guys <laughs> Hey guys, so we have arrived at Kretcha Ubud and we've just been shown to the cabana so I'll show you that first. So the cabana here is a nice little cabana. Mo's just setting up the drone but I'll show you our view. Look at the rice terrace how beautiful is that and then we've got these stacked up pools and it's just nine o'clock and can you imagine how busy it's going to get later on but yeah it's stunning. Hey guys. Hey guys. We are at Kretcha, Kretcha Ubud. Ubud. And uh, it's such a vibe right now, man. Um, we've been shown to our cabanas, which is awesome. Quite a lot. Gonna get our drinks in. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna be vibing here for a little bit, and uh, we'll get some food and drinks in. And what we're gonna be doing, we're probably just gonna be chilling for now. We've got the cabana for five hours, so we've got a long time to be just yeah. chilling out in the sun. For sure. Yeah. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> So basically, I think we're going to do more of what we're good at. 
chillax. Yeah, people watch. It's great for people yeah, watching. You can really uh, tell the Instagrammers in the wild because there's been one couple that's been here from the very stop. They haven't it's stopped. Been hours later. She hasn't got stopped. she hasn't nailed that photo yet. I love this place though. So 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 nice. Very Instagrammable, we said, didn't we? Yeah, it's great. If you're here in, in Ubud, definitely one to come. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right, I just thought I'd do a run through of our cabana. So the cabana is if you look, there's four along here and four on top. Um, you've got loads of day beds and things like that. But for this particular one, I booked by emailing them about two weeks before. Um, and I said, oh, can I book a cabana? They said, that's fine. So make sure you have that reservation because they'll ask for it when you come in. The queue was really quick. So I think it opens at eight and we've got here at nine. And literally, I think there's one person in front of us with our reservation, really quick to get in. Once you get in, they tell you that there's a minimum spend for wherever you booked. This particular cabana is 1.5 million IDR, uh, which you can use, which is brilliant. You can use towards drinks and food, obviously. Um, and we thought we'd struggle with spending that, but actually the meals are about half a meal. So if you get two meals and about four drinks each, that would make up roughly. The cabana comes with nice curtains, so you can cover yourselves if you want and block yourself in the sun two lovely towels, two cushions, a nice table. You get a really good view of the actual rice terrace itself and all the pools that are layered around this uh, area. And just one thing to add, even though obviously there's loads of people here, they actually said it's fine to use your drone, so why not? We bought our drone and we flew it this morning and hopefully we've got some great shots to show you guys. But I think that's really nice because no places, they're normally against like all the privacy act, whatever, but here they're like, yeah, use your drone. So feel free to bring your drone and bring it along. Bye. Guys, lunch has come and we have ordered two main dishes. So the first one's just come out. And this is the giant king prawns. And it says size 15. I think it's like 15 inches. They're really big. And you've got all this goodness of the garlic. I love that. And then the parsley and tomatoes. That's the way to my heart. Anything with garlic on. But yeah, can't wait to get, to get stuck into this. And it's proper grilled because you can even see the little burnt bits here. Love, love, love that. We've got another dish coming. But we're going to munch this first before the flies get to it. But we've also got nice juices here. So this is the watermelon juice and you've got, what have you got? This is the pineapple. Yeah, they're really tasty, homemade, definitely homemade. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get stuck in and show you a bit later what the second dish is. Woohoo! <laughs> So, as you may have already seen, we've just had the uh, king prawns that we absolutely devoured within minutes. It came with that nice garlic. There's a little something there. Oh my god. <laughs> that, don't worry, we'll cook that later. Just made a quick friend, casually. Anywho, um, we do have the strip steak is what they're calling it but i think it's called a strip steak because they they've just cut it into loads of pieces it comes with the cherry tomatoes uh the roasted garlic a jus that i'm not sure what is and also a bit of a rocket salad just to balance it out but i think we should get stuck in now because yeah. i don't want it to get cold and creatures like that that we just saw might want to eat it so um we better eat this first Little snail thing. Cobwebs. Oh my god. Hornet. Whoa. Hornet. Freaking hornet. That sun normally rises over there. It's coming up slowly. Mo is just trying to work the drain because it doesn't want to work. But we are on the rooftop this morning, nice and early. It is roughly 6 30. And we have lift off, guys. So today is a very sad day guys, 
we are leaving Tempak Siring, which is where Eco 6 is located. It's a very slow stroll to reception. Yeah, we are going off to Changu. We'll reveal where we're going to be staying in Changu in the next part of this video. So we'll see you in a bit. are back at our second accommodation and it is called Maha Changu. So that's where we're situated in Changu. It took about two and a half hours to get here. But let me show you a quick room tour. A lovely hallway here with all these curtains, all draped, all white. And we've got these lovely full length mirrors. And as you come through, this is where the magic is. So there's five huts here, which you can rent out and a lovely pool as you can see and the design is completely like white Grecian style I'd say and I love all the draping curtains and the little seats here and there's a communal jacuzzi right at the top which we'll show you but if you look to the right here you've got three huts one at the back and one big one here and there's a living area in the middle there but let me take you through to our lovely villa so we are based in villa number two which is this one here so they've given us complimentary coconuts for our arrival. They're nice and chilled, so that's lovely of them. We have great open space. As you can see, everything is all white and lovely. We've got the air corn going on here, which is much appreciated. It just seems so much hotter in Changu than when we, where we were earlier. So Changu's by the coast and that's why it's so hot. But yeah, love all the glass design and the bedding. And we've got loads of everything, all this stonework here is absolutely gorgeous. Storage space down here and a nice little chair. And then behind this draping curtains, we've got a safe, which is really cute because that's in with a the theme. Normally they're black, aren't they? So it's a white safe. We've got some gold hangers to hang our clothes. And then it's kind of like a secret treasure because there's so many compartments to this little villa. So if you come through, it's like twin basin, twin shower, twin rain showers. Got a nice little toilet here going on. All brass gold theme. Really, really cute. I love all the touches. Even this is brass gold. So this is our outdoor area. And then we've got like, it's so cool. We've got like an outdoor pool. So we're gonna fill that up with, um, have a flower bath tomorrow. So you'll see that in its full glory. And then there's a secret rooftop up here. You've got a lovely rooftop area. Um, so there's three huts here, so everyone's got their own little area. You've got the little netted thing going on here, which you can rest and just chill out on. And then you've got a nice seating area. And then across there, you've got the communal jacuzzi, which we can use any time between eight and six daily. Uh, I think we're gonna just unpack and chill now. Um, and see what we want to do later. But for now, that's the end of our video. There's a minimum then spend of 300k, which is absolutely fine, which you can use on beverages and foods. We're gonna do that. But we're waiting for the sun, which is right there, and the view is absolutely gorgeous. Have a look, guys. So we're gonna just chill, order some food. We've not had lunch, actually. So it can be lunch and dinner. Uh, and enjoy. <laughs>
so I thought I was I thought I was full up. I did have a look at the menu again and ice cream sandwich, toasted scone, bottom and top, top and bottom. And the ice cream inside it is actually coconut. And I was thinking, oh man, I want something sweet. So I thought I'd get this. Anywho, I'm gonna get stuck into this and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. guys good morning from Changu it is a very very hot 32 33 degrees from Changu and we've just kind of spent the morning basically creating content most well, hungry now because I'm uh, a bit hungry <laughs> so we better get this breakfast down us so we've got a fruit basket here which has what has it got melons dragon fruit Mangoes, some oranges, um, and we've got our coffees. Mo's got an iced coffee and I've got cappuccino. Everyone's left, so I think we've got the villa to ourselves until two o'clock when new people yeah. check in. Seeing as I'm a bit hangry, you better eat sorry it. Sorry for that, right. There's actually dragon fruit here. We'll let you know how we get on, guys. See you in a bit. unboxing of what I got in Chanel as promised. So we flew to Bali via Dubai and when we got there we had literally a two hour layover so not much time but I said to Mo let's quickly go into Chanel and see what there is. So popped in, saw those ballet pumps that are really trending at the moment and I wasn't sure about them but I thought I'm not gonna get much wear at them so I left them. Had a quick look at the clothing department, nothing there really, and then walked out. And then Mo was like, oh, let's just go back and get the pumps. And I said, there's no point if I'm not gonna wear them a lot. And he goes, what is it that you want? I said, I'd really love some swimwear, but I didn't see any. So he said, oh, well, let's go to the other Chanel, which is on Conquest A, but it required getting a train and we didn't have much time. So he said to me, let's go back and ask them if they've got any swimwear. So luckily we went back. I asked the sales assistant, do they have anything in stock swimwear wise? He said, are you looking for a one piece or a two piece? And I said, ideally I would love um, a one piece. Uh, so he went away, came back and said, unfortunately no one piece is, but there is a two piece. So I said, I can have a look. Um, and basically, wasn't keen on two pieces, but when I saw it, I just thought, oh my God, amazing. In the classic Chanel paper bag, you get a little, kind of like a material fabric envelope. Open that up and then, oh my God. So anyway, I got really lucky because this colorway, obviously the monochrome colorway, so hard to come by. Check this that is the bikini top it's in this nice vertical kind of um, ribbed material with the classic CC in a nice Monty design there. And the pants are high waisted, same monochrome, and again, the CC label at the back there. And I just thought, oh my God, it's so hard to come by a black and white set. I had to get it. So I got the top in a 36 and the bottom in a 36. So actually they fit perfectly fine and I'm normally between a size 8 and 10. They did have a 38 also in stock. So girls, if you're in Dubai, I've got you. They've got a 38 in stock. But the guy was like, you're so lucky because he couldn't even find this swimwear set 
online because it had just come in a few hours before and they are rare pieces that you know there's probably one or two that come to the store once in a while he said to me you got yourself really lucky there i do love the design it's kind of like a present from uh me to me so really happy i got that yeah, i will be wearing these two at some point in time but yeah that's the quick unboxing i've come into the room guys oh. and all i can see no, is bunny lying here the reason why it's lying like this because mo jumped into the swimming pool with all the cash in his pocket so we literally hang out our money to dry <laughs> silly silly sausage And I've gone with the rosé. Anyway, we've got our first starter here, which is the most starter. What would it be? No, Yellowtail. Yellowtail, that's it. That's it. Try it. Yeah, try that. Yeah, it's really good. Oh my god, that's so good and fresh. That is so yummy. It's raw yellowtail. So yummy. So, you have a look at there. There you go. Yeah. That's actually really good. And the sauce is so good. last full day here in Bali. It's currently 6.30 in the morning and we're up early because we want to go and visit uh, a black sand beach called Pursuit Beach. We're going to fly the drone, take a few photos of it. But yeah, the driver's on his way. We've got a jam-packed day, but we'll take you along with us. We've just come back from the black sand beach and it was um, a bit of traffic on the way back and oh my god the sand had got everywhere like in my hair all my ears nose down my throat it literally took me about an hour and a half to shower it all off it was such a mess the hotel looked like a disaster with all the black sand and stuff i managed to sweep it all up because i didn't want them to deal with it but god it was an effort so just bear that in mind if you want to go to the black sand beach it's, yeah. it's an effort to um clean yeah up. and and another downer to be fair so i managed to get all the footage that you just saw however at the last 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 ever run to get some more shots on the drone crashed not even crashed like and i landed down. yeah i landed the drone into some sand and it got into like the, the motor propellers now i think that drone might be dead which is very very sad because that's been to a lot of places with us but I'm gonna try and see if we can get it repaired. It might have to be the beginning of a new drone. Sad. Yeah, really sad. <laughs> At least we got through Bali with it, thank God for that. Yeah. But now we've literally just showed up. We're gonna check out because it's coming up to 11. Pop to have some lunch and then we're off to the spa, aren't we? Yeah. Our flight isn't till midnight, so we've got like a full on day. I've got um, saldo with avocado and tomatoes and feta on top and 
and this little thing here is a tropical paradiso drink. Um, I think it's fine that I ate on my own because Mo was feeling sick anyway from the journey earlier. It was quite a bumpy road, so he's feeling a bit not. He's feeling a bit worse for wear. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stick into, get stuck into this a bit of fuel for the belly, and then hopefully I'll find him later. Right, guys. Um, sorry, I disappeared there for a bit. I was feeling a little bit. It's feeling a little bit funny because because uh, of where we drove today for the Black Sand Beach. The, the route that we took was very like windy, windy, up and down. So it made me feel a bit funky. So I didn't puke or anything, but I literally felt like a bit of motion sickness, if that makes sense. But I managed to hold it. This has actually made me feel a little bit better actually. So um, I'm quite happy about that. This place is a vibe. It's got like a church vibe where it's got loads of stained glass windows. What's funny is um I was thinking, why is he so excited to come to Penny Lane? When we got here, I said, we're here for lunch. He had no idea what we were doing. He thought it was a marketplace and got super excited. If you know me, you know that I love to like barter and haggle and I love doing that in like markets. So when I hear Penny Lane, I was like, oh damn, okay. Let's try go, and get, yeah. Try and get okay. something for a penny. But anyway, we'll let you know what we get up to and um, we'll see you in a bit. Sad day. It's a very sad. I could possibly cry, but we are actually closing up this barley vlog because we're it's our last day and our flight's actually at midnight. But we're checking out of the Maha um, Changu Hotel. We actually went to their sister hotel next door called the what's it called? It's called Bella Jean. Bella Jean. Which is equally as beautiful, slightly different design, but we can show you a quick. Yeah. Yeah, we'll show B -roll you a quick of, that. B -roll of what their sister hotel looks if like. If we're returning, we're definitely going to stay at that one. It's so beautiful. Um, guys, just so you know, yeah, there is still work being done as well. So I don't know if you can hear all this construction. All the banging. Try and bear with us with that. But this place is just absolutely beautiful. As you go in, it's got a real warm look, wooden, wooden finish, marble flooring. Um, loads of pendants that are on the ceiling itself. It is so so beautiful. There's eight villas this time. A nice pool area. Yeah, eight villas. As you go upstairs, there is like net bedding um, and also like a little 360 balcony. Also has a small mini pool and a study room actually. So great for groups. So if you're with your friends and a group bunch of you, then it's a great hotel to stay at definitely. But yeah, it's the end of our trip, guys. So sad. But it's not quite the end because we're off to Dubai afterwards to meet some friends for a long weekend. So yeah. celebrations will continue, but it's the end of our Bali segment. Um, it's been absolutely beautiful. It's our first trip here. Will not be the last. Absolutely adored this country. The people here are just beautiful, aren't they? I think we're signing out. So <laughs> until the next vlog, guys. Yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, leave All a that comment. Good stuff. Let us know what your favourite part of the vlog was. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Catch you soon. Take care.